My name is Julie McGuire. I work at the Dahi Omaraku Marine Research Station down in Bantry in West Cork. And uh, we have a marine research station where we have about 10 people working for us at the moment doing all sorts of marine research, um, mainly in the fisheries and aquaculture sector. And we have some sister companies um, that we have mussel farms, we have a salmon farm and we have fish processing plant. So, and you know, on the fish processing side, we've about 35 people that work with us. Um, my name is Ken O'Shea. I'm currently employed as R&D manager at Airgen Pharma in Waterford. Uh, we currently have 80 employees and we specialise in the development and commercial supply of highly potent drug products for global markets. My name is Eugene O'Brien. I'm chairman of the board of Rona Donovan Innovative Solutions. We're a subsidiary of Rona Donovan. Uh, Rona Donovan has about 100 staff. Uh, we're bridge consultants, uh, largely. Uh, we've designed bridges such as the Lewis in Dundrum in Dublin and uh, the Drogheda Cable State Bridge. We were involved in three Marie Curie actions. Um, two were an IAPP, which means Industry Academic Partnerships and Pathways. And then we are also a partner in an ITMN programme, which has been led by the University of Aberdeen. The first two projects we were involved in, we coordinated those, um, the IAPPs. Um, one was bivalves from farm to fork, which was a study on scallops, actually. And the second one was involved um, creating biofuel out of seaweed and microalgae. The Marie Curie action Airgen was involved with was an IAPP, which involved uh, four consortium members, two from academia and two from industry, based in Ireland and in Wales. Our particular uh, Marie Curie project is called Hypoderm, which stands for High Potency Dermatologicals. And essentially this project uh, was put in place to develop a novel drug delivery system for um, the delivery of uh, highly potent compounds, particularly oncology molecules, uh, through the skin using a um, novel microneedle array. I'm leader of the Long Life Bridges project. So this is a, it's an industry academia partnership and pathways project. And we've just got four partners, uh, two, two SMEs and two universities. Rona Donovan is the Irish partner uh, and the, the, we have university partners in Denmark and in Sweden. We also have a French SME. We first heard about the Marie Curie action through our relationship with Waterford Institute of Technology. Um, it's based about a kilometre from our facility and we have a, a very close relationship with the Institute. I've been involved in European research for a long time, um, mostly on, in the thematic programmes and transport and infrastructure. Uh, the Marie Curie is quite different and the first time I tried to get involved I, I made the mistake of assuming it was a research programme but of course it's all about training. And once you understand that, you, you will you'll benefit a lot more from the program. Uh, so in this case, we got involved. Our, our project is an industry academia partnerships program. Um, and we got involved to train up our people with some of the leading experts in the world. So our industry people, uh, two of them have spent a year each, uh, one, in, one in Sweden and one in Denmark. It's been extremely beneficial for them. Of course, we miss them when they're gone, but it's a long term investment. And we've also had a, a postdoc from uh, Sweden visit us for a year. We decided to go for Marie Curie mainly because we were lacking expertise for both our projects, actually. For our bivalve project, we needed expertise in quantitative genetics and we couldn't find those in Ireland. So it was kind of logical to look outside of Ireland and Marie Curie was just an excellent scheme for that. We got involved in Marie Curie for a few reasons. I mean, first and foremost, um, the funding that's available is, is very attractive, particularly to uh, small and, and medium enterprises like Airgen. Secondly, there was um, an opportunity to, to collaborate with the various consortium partners. Um, the Marie Curie project is, is very much about knowledge transfer. So the secondment schedule through the project allows um, people from Airgen and even myself to, to be seconded to WIT and to upskill and for people in Cardiff University to come to Airgen and uh, the knowledge transfer between the partners was, was quite attractive.
We found our partners um, through personal contacts for the most part. So some of them I knew myself and others came strongly recommended. So we, we went, we deliberately targeted some of the best universities we could find and some of the best people we could find. The industry partner um, was a French company. We had had some dealings with them before, uh, but they're a nice, they're a nice uh, uh, aspect to them in that they're, they're mostly in the nuclear industry. So they have a lot of experience of calculating the risk of a nuclear disaster, and they're now trying to shift that into the transport sector. So we brought the expertise in transport and they brought the expertise in risk. So it was a happy marriage. We had to find our own partners. Some partners we had in mind because we'd worked with them before, but for the most part, we didn't. So we looked at the um, the participant portal for partners, so partner search there, also through your access. And also um, we went to um, a Marie Curie conference in Turkey where we found excellent partners actually um, from Turkey that we'd never worked with before. At present, we're probably three quarters of the way through our Marie Curie project. Um, we've had some success in both the delivery of our molecules through the skin and also in the fabrication of our microneedle arrays. Some of the academic partners uh, have already written papers which they intend to publish in the near future. Um, but the project now is moving into a potential commercial phase, so discussions will soon be ongoing between the consortium partners on how best to potentially commercialise um, uh, th this product which has been developed. Two of our Marie Curie projects finished. Officially, um, you know, from Marie Curie's point of view, I suppose, but we're still continuing on because one was a breeding program for scallops where we're trying to um, reduce the growth rate of scallops because at the moment it takes them five years to grow. So we have, you know, it's a long term project, so it'll be 20 years in the making. But now we have the expertise and we've still maintained the links from the project, even though it finished four years ago. The benefits to Airgen, uh, having been involved in, in this Marie Curie project, um, would be, I suppose, first and foremost, the funding, because uh, it's, uh, it's considerable. Um, secondly, and there's an opportunity to learn from the different consortium members through the secondment schedule in the project. Um, Airgen was also um, lucky enough to, to have a, a postdoc from Cardiff University uh, present at Airgen for 18 months. So he brought considerable research skills to, to Airgen, which we were able to, to leverage for our own business as well. We recently won an award um, with the European Space Agency. It was Copernicus Master's Award for the best service for European citizens. It involved tracking harmful algal blooms using satellites. So it was a very prestigious award. So we were absolutely delighted to get it. And it's all thanks to Marie Curie and Framework 7. But of course you hate to lose your staff, you know, your good staff. You hate to lose them and send them off in secondment for a year. That's a long time to be missing a key person. Uh, but it's a good long-term investment. So I think it's worth it in the long term. The one best thing for Airgen having been involved in this Marie Curie project would be the relationship which we now have with the different consortium members. Best thing about the Marie Curie actions is definitely the researchers that you get to work at your institute, the expertise that they bring, even the you know the fun that they bring, just the diversity. It's 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 all good, and um, it it broadens your horizons most definitely. I would recommend it to other companies. Now, it needs to be a certain kind of company. It needs to be a kind of company that has a research challenge or research challenges. Uh, you shouldn't get involved in this just for the sake of being involved in it or for prestige or for the money or something like that. It only makes sense if you're the kind of company that's trying to push the boundaries of, of knowledge and develop new ideas. Uh, so for, for companies like that, definitely it's, it's a great way to get uh, really expert people and to help you develop something.